So this is a general motor neuron in which stimu um, the cell will be stimulated through its dendrites and then the signal, if possible, will, will go through the cell body into the axon hillock and down the axon and then finally be relayed in the axon terminal axon. So how does this signal happen? Well, in the dendrites, it's also a membrane, meaning that things have to pass through, you know, regulation, things like that. So sodium ions, which is part of the signal, which the sensory cells are responsible for turning the signal into this way, into this form, sodium ions will move into the cell membranes through their respective ion channels, and what happens is that for a split second, the inside of the cell will become more positive through these, because of these positive ions. So what happens is that because this, the inside of the cell has become more positive in respect to its environment, voltage-gated channels that contain, voltage-gated channels for sodium will open up and allow even more sodium to diffuse into the cell. So because of this, the inside will become more positive, as I said, and then it will be relayed through until the axon hillock. So what determines if it actually makes it all the way through? Because not all signals make it through. It depends on the stimulus. So if we look at this graph, this shows the action potential. And negative 50 millivolts is the threshold potential for these signals. So if the sodium ions cause the difference between the inside and the outside to be negative 50 millivolts, it will cause depolarization to occur, which is the influx of calcium, um, sodium ions into the cell, which cause the increase of the difference potential. The difference potential will reach positive 30 millivolts. And then at this point, the sodium ion channel the sodium ion voltage-gated channels that once opened at the beginning will now close. This stimulates the opening of potassium voltage-gated channels to open, causing potassium ions to diffuse out of the cell. This causes repolarization, but it doesn't go back to its resting potential, which is negative 70 millivolts, directly. It actually dips a little lower to negative 80 millivolts, and this little dip is called hyperpolarization, where it overshoots for just a second. And then from one millisecond to four milliseconds through sodium potassium through the sodium potassium protein and the pump it'll cause the re rearrangement of the ions to in order to go back to the negative 70 millivolts which was the resting potential of the cell which was the difference between the outside and the inside as it was originally so from zero milliseconds to four milliseconds it's the refractory period in which other action potentials can't really happen during it this is significant because it causes um, it causes uh, the, the impulses and the action potentials to not overlap between one another.